What's up everyone and thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video of WordPress series, we will be understanding how you can add a slider in your home page or any other page that you want easily step by step in your WordPress website. In order to add a slider, we will simply perform three steps. Number one, we will add a plugin. Number two, we will create a slider. And number three, we will configure the slider on a particular page. So watch the video till the end and follow all the steps as it is. And if you are coming on the channel for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such video content. Now, coming to my WordPress dashboard, first let's understand how my home page looks like. So right now my home page has a banner, but I want to add a slider instead of this. So in order to do that first, let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. So our step number one is to add a plugin that is called smart slider. So you will need to search smart slider here. And once you search for smart slider, you will see a plugin which is very popular and it has a freemium version, free plus premium version. So you can use the free version without any problem and you will be able to you know add multiple sliders inside the free version so we have installed this plugin and now once the installation is completed we will simply activate the plugin so installation is done now click on activate once the plugin is activated now we will move to step number two that is to create a slider and for that you will need to refresh the screen once and you will see an option called smart slider on the left hand side uh, you know menu bar something like this so click on the smart slider once you you know click on the smart slider it will show you a screen like this so you can say don't show again and here you can see the dashboard now in order to create a new slider you can just click on new project so we'll click on the new project create a new project start with the template so yes we can choose a template so let's click a click on start with the template and here you can see there are multiple templates available of course not every template is free and not every template is paid you can sort the free ones and the paid ones from here and you can see full width, full page box, slider, block page, multiple options are there. So in this thing, I will choose free versions. So now inside the free things, you can see gradient slider, full width sliders, masterclass, image slider. So based on your need, which kind of slider you want to add, you can choose a template. So let's say I want to choose a template, which is full width post slider, or you can say gradient slider. Let's go with a gradient slider. So now click on import. You are not supposed to subscribe. You can cross it. And once you click on import, now the gradient slider is imported. Now, after creating a template, after choosing a template, we can customize the slide. So in order to customize any slide in terms of content, all you need to do is click on any slide, edit button like this. And now from here, you can, you know, change the slide content. Let's say I want to change this slide. So I'll just double click and I can change from here. Let's say first slide dir right for slider similarly i can change the other content as well so i can say demo slide if i want to change this particular image i will click on this image and then i will cross it and then i can add a new image let's say i want to add this image for example i can select the image now the image is selected and based on the settings you can increase or decrease the size of the image as well if you want to give it a link let's say you want people to redirect it to a link when they click on this particular slider then or image then you can add a link here let's say i have added a google.com right similarly you can create multiple slides and you can add edit multiple slides one by one and once the customization is done now it is the right time to move to step number three that is to integrate the slider on our home page or any other page so in order to do that let's go to dashboard once and in order to go to pages we will click on pages and here we say home page so right now we are using elementor as page builder so we will click with edit with elementor once we clicked on edit with Elementor, now we will have an option to add the slider and we want this slider to be added in a hero section. So instead of this, we will click on this plus icon and we will choose this plus icon again. And I want to, I want layout to be simple. So what I can do is I can again click on this and I can just drag, I can search from here smart, that is smart slider and I can drag and drop here. And it will ask you which slider you want to add. So we want to add gradient slider, click on this and click on insert. Once you click on insert it, the slider is added. Now let's once publish it, I mean, update the content so that it is saved. And now let's preview the changes. 
Right now you can see it is not full width. There is a space on the left hand side and the right hand side. How to make it full width? For that, let's go to the WordPress dashboard. Let's go to the smart slider and choose the slider you have added. And here you will see an option called size. Click on size. And if you scroll down, you will see an option called force full width. It means you want it to be displayed in a full width. So save it now. And now come back to the home page again. And you can see the slider is now in a full width and there are three sliders one, two and three. If you want to change any content, you can directly do it from here to smart slider, edit slider and choose the gradient slider. And you can choose which slide to be added or if you want to add a new slide, click on add slide and you can see plenty of options. So that's how you can add a smart slider for free on your WordPress website, not only on the homepage, but wherever you want for different, different needs.